Hey guys, welcome to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I contributed to Shopee's revenue this lockdown, aka this is a Shopee haul. Now it's lockdown, but don't worry, with the rise of the internet and online shopping, we are all shopping away through online platforms and contributing to the economy. Now on a serious note guys, I know you guys understand what I mean by you are just scrolling and shopping more this lockdown because there's not a lot of things to do. So I bought a lot of stuff when it comes to like beauty, helping myself in lockdown, new hobbies, everything under the sun is really random. It's like a load of random stuff, but I hope you guys enjoy and find some form of joy or even like helpfulness in this video. I will also be linking down below all of the items that I'm talking about today. And I will say that they are all affiliate links. So just letting you know, if you don't want to shop through the affiliate links, it's totally fine. I get ya, but I'm just letting you know that affiliate links, I get a small percentage if you shop through my link. In advance, if you are shopping through the links, I just want to say thank you so much for supporting me and this small little channel that's not really going anywhere just yet. But let's get into the purchases. The first item that I bought is probably my best purchase so far from Shopee. And it is not with me right now because I shipped it off to my parents. It is a spin mop. Now, mopping is probably one of the biggest pains when it comes to chores in my family because the manual mop just destroys us. My dad normally does the mopping in our family and he regularly gets wrist pains like he literally sprains his wrist from mopping because he has to manually squeeze the mop and it hurts and then when he bends down to squeeze the mop then he says that his back hurts and because of that then he asks my sisters to do it and then when my sisters do it they complain about the time and everybody contributing and it's just one big hoo-ha. So what did I do? I tried to solve the problem with the spin mop. And ever since I got this, this has been a savior in my family because not only does it do all the heavy lifting in terms of like spinning the mop dry and not needing to manually squeeze the mop anymore, everyone's just happy because it makes the job easier for my dad and also my sisters don't really have to get involved. And even when they do, it's actually so much easier for them and it's fast. You don't take so long in the mopping process anymore and it's so easy to use. Not only that, but the bucket is really compact. It's so easy to keep. And even though the price tag is a little bit steeper than a regular mop, honestly, I would pay the price for what it has done for my family so far. Not only that, but the head is super easy to change because, you know, it's not like you have to get rid of the whole mop entirely. All you gotta do is just change the head part of it for uh, like a fraction of the price and there you go. The material has actually been really sturdy. I can actually vouch for this one because my boyfriend's family actually uses this mop as well and his mom has been using this for years and the bucket is still intact, the mop is still in great condition, so I can vouch for it. It's great. Get it. If you want to make your parents happy or even just make your life a little easier when it comes to mopping, get the spin mop. Now the next item that I bought were candles. Now these are from a local store based in Penang called Candle and & Candle and I bought three just to start off and try them out. I got three scents. They are pear, freesia and patchouli, bergamot, ginger and white tea, and lime, basil, mandarin, orange. I'm very much a scent person and I love how these candles really uplift my mood. Just like how the weather kind of plays a part in how I feel, these actually help me feel great. And as weird as it sounds, these actually help me through lockdown emotions. Kind of help the bathroom here and there too. Let me just tell you a little bit about the scents. The first one I'll be talking about is bergamot, ginger, and white tea. Now this is definitely the strongest out of the three scents that I got. And I will say I'm terrible at describing scents, but I'll do my best. Now this kind of reminds me of a spa in Bali times five. It smells like a musky tropical scent and has very warm notes. And I find this makes me feel cozy, especially on gloomy or even rainy days. The next one is lime, basil, and mandarin orange. I won't lie, this got me because the brand Jo Malone has a scent in this and your girl just 
I can't afford Joe Malone, okay? I can't be affording a lighting Joe Malone candles up in here, so. But you know what? I don't even know if this smells the same, but what the heck? I still love it. Now it has a very light scent with a hint of tanginess, which is probably the citrus notes that shine through when it's lit. And it's honestly very uplifting and it just rejuvenates myself. It kind of grinds my gears and I actually love lighting this when I want to get in the mood to be productive with my work. Now the last one is probably my favorite. It is Pear, Freesia and Patchouli. Again, Jo Malone also has a scent like this but again, your girl can't afford that. So I'm gonna be selling with this, but all I can say is I love, love, love this scent. Like if I could just get this in a bottle, <clears throat> Joe Malone, this would probably be the scent that I would wear every single day. It's it's very sweet. It's almost like fruity and florally, but at the same time, there's a little bit of musk there. So it's not too sweet either. Honestly, I think that hint of musky smell in the back notes really gives it the nice balance so it doesn't smell too sweet. And I just love it so much. Not only is it really refreshing and nice on a daily basis, it actually keeps me very calm. So I get really anxious and this actually makes me feel very at peace especially before bed so it's been really nice i will say though the first few times that you light these up they're not as strong but now that i've reached like midway on all of them i can vouch to say that they're very long lasting and the smell is quite strong as you start burning more and more and honestly i burn these so often i don't know if you guys can see there's still quite a bit to it so it's pretty worth the price i'll definitely be repurchasing some of these and trying out new scents probably in the bigger ones as well now the next item that i got paint by numbers. Now I really needed something to take me away from the lockdown stress, work and also keep me occupied. Give me that creative vision if you get what I mean. And I can't draw for shit so this really helped. Now these came relatively fast. It took a week considering that they came from China. Not only that but they packaged everything really nicely and for the price I was very satisfied. I actually bought four in total. The first one I call the girl by the window that definitely describes my current lockdown mode. Staring out at the world, I'm in my bed, depressed all day. <laughs> now the second one that I got is Central Park during the autumn season. New York City has been a place I've always wanted to go and autumn is probably my favorite season so this was definitely something I gravitated to and honestly this painting was a nice reminder to work hard, get that dough and finally be able to go to NYC during the fall. The third one that I got is really just a motivational kind of thing to hustle. Now the flat lay really spoke out to me and I'm hoping to paint this and be able to frame it near one of my work spots for the future. The last one I got is this girl reading a book by the pool and this perfectly describes what I want to be doing after this COVID situation. I really just want to be next to the pool or even somewhere windy, you know, just reading a good book, relaxing. I really just want to be outdoors in the wide open. I'm not asking for much here. I would say if you're a very creative person, this is really worth it for the price. They gave you all of the paint, the painting. I'm halfway through my New York one. But look how big this is. It's huge. There's also the option for you to get the one on the frame. I just felt like it was harder to keep so I got mine in just the canvas form so I'm midway through this one. They give you quite a lot of paint and it's really worth it and on the inside they actually give you paint brushes and everything already so it's all in one and for the price I thought this was excellent. As someone on the internet, it is a pain to constantly live up to expectations of people on how you have to look. And frankly, I'm at the point in my life where I think, whatever. So honestly, I'm too lazy to keep up sometimes. Hence, my massive purchase of press-on nails. <laughs> Look, I'm not even going to be going through these one by one. So here is a collage with descriptions and links below. I strategized by getting what I deem the most trustable at the best price through a massive spreadsheet. So yes, I have done my due diligence. 
As for putting on the press-ons, I also bought these stickers to minimize damage on my nails. And honestly, I was fairly impressed with these. I've actually bought stickers from Taobao before and they were not of the best quality. They were quite thin and frankly, the moment I put them on, they fell off. This sticker, however, helped me secure my press-on nails for a good like three days until I deemed inappropriate having like five nails on and five nails off. That's when I took it out. But it lasted a good two or three days and I think that's just enough if you're not going to be going out or whatever. And for the price, this was so good. It was so fast to do. I highly recommend press-on nails. If you have never tried press-on nails, do it, okay? life-changing. I even got a pack of plain ones so that I can use my normal nail polish to paint them so I don't waste them anymore and I'm just gonna stick them on. Guys, seriously, great investment. Continuing down the road of beauty standards, I also bought fake eyelashes. Now, I spend money on fake eyelashes as compared to eyelash extensions because I get to rub my eyes and eyelash extensions, frankly, for the price is really hard to maintain. So I bought eight new pairs of eyelashes. Not like I don't have any in my cupboard right now, but they were, I, I just really wanted to try them out. So these were on sale and I thought online they looked really pretty. And to my surprise, when they came, they were red cherry eyelashes. Now, in case you don't know, red cherry is actually a pretty well-known brand in the US for cheap and great eyelashes. When I say eyelashes, I mean fake eyelashes. And they're actually really pretty. I'm actually wearing a pair right now in the style 747U. It's really nice. It was a little bit hard to put on, just like all eyelashes the first time when you put them on. It's a little bit troublesome, but I will link them all down below. Now, I personally have bought a ton of different eyelashes from Shopee and I've always loved them. So I will link not only these, but also a few of my past purchases down below so that you guys can check them out. Now, next in the looks department, we have boobs, or in this case, boob tape. This is bunny tape and they call it bunny because of the ears on this thing that looks like a bunny. So bunny tape. Now, if you're one of the rare people who have not noticed that I have ginormous tatas, yes, you're rare. Sometimes they need help staying up and nipple stickers just do not help. Hence, I bought these to actually help with some lifting and securing when I'm wearing V-cut tops or anything that's low-cut, to be honest. I've worn these twice at home for photos, but I think my boobs may be too heavy for the bunny ears. I probably need elephant ears. <laughs> so this is just a warning for you guys who have bigger, heavier boobs like me. Maybe this is not enough for you, but I think if you have a smaller chest and you just want some extra lift, these are pretty awesome. Now, next we're moving on to some hair stuff. I actually bought a pack of transparent rubber bands. They, if I'm not mistaken, there's like 500 pieces in here because I'm very into tying my hair into like small little sections. And frankly, I have never really used these kind of rubber bands in my life because my hair is so thick, they just snap. So I bought these just really for styling reasons. And so far, these are pretty good. But my interesting hair purchase is this toothbrush. Now, this toothbrush has been making the rounds recently. Everyone has been advertising it to get cleaner teeth. Frankly speaking, I've used brushes like this on my face, like those big ones. And if I apply that theory to this brush, this is not going to clean your teeth at all. It's just not. It's literally gonna be like rubbing a piece of silicone all over your teeth. It's not gonna clean it. Just stick to your regular toothbrush. But what I bought this for was actually for my baby hair. So I didn't use it today, but I really should have so that I could show you. But I have a ton of baby hair. And what I realized is that when I use those extra toothbrushes, I actually spray um, hairspray on it or use gel and then I actually smoothen out my hair and I use the toothbrush to actually comb everything down. But I find that sometimes they get caught in my hair or it just doesn't do the trick. But I felt like, hmm, maybe this one could. And it works. It works so well. So what I do is I really just use um, this gel. 
So I got this Gatsby gel. I got it from Guardian. And what I do is I really just rub some of the gel on my baby hairs over here. And what I do is I just use the comb and slowly comb everything down. And this is dope. This is so good. Please try it. If you have a lot of baby hair or you want to style your baby hairs nicely, this is really the trick. Now, being in lockdown, I've also been extensively looking into being a bit more eco-friendly and I know my purchases so far has not really been convincing. But hopefully these three will. I bought three sets of three cotton mesh bags. These are actually phenomenal. I was so excited when I finally went out to buy groceries and I got to use these. But I bought like three sets. One's already in the car and this is going to my parents when I get to see them. They're great. They're light. The metal pieces aren't heavy. They don't really add weight to your purchase. And I feel better knowing that I'm not using one-time use plastic in that sense. So I just bring this to the stores, you know, just put your produce in and they just put the sticker on. And the only waste you get out of that is really just the sticker. And for the price, it's awesome because I actually saw these going for the same price in supermarkets and you only get, I think, like one piece or two. And they're not that big either. I think you get to choose a couple of options like in terms of size but I thought for me I really just wanted to buy it in the set because it's also cheaper. So this is the small and then you got the medium which is like two inches bigger and then you have the large that's about two inches bigger than that as well. See? They're great, honestly. The next eco-friendly item that I got was these cotton buds. Now, I use cotton buds for my ears and makeup a lot, and I've been trying to minimize a lot, and I'm proud to say that I've minimized, okay? I don't really use them. Now, it doesn't minimize the fact that it's one-time use plastic, so I opted for these because you can actually compost these. I'm not a fan of the fact that it came in plastic. I wish it came in like a box or something. Um, I'll, I would have been totally fine with that. But I guess it's good to keep them clean. Um, and I haven't used these yet because I want to go through the ones that I've already purchased so that I'm not wasting any more as well. Because it's not good to purchase and then you're not going to use it. And then the last eco-friendly item that I bought were bamboo toothbrushes. One thing that bugs me about these bamboo toothbrushes that I can't get my brain around is... How does it not get moldy? Because you know, you're not encouraged to put wooden items in your bathroom because when they get wet and you know, they don't dry properly, then they get all moldy. So I'm just wondering if these go in your mouth and they're constantly being underwater every single day and night, how do they dry properly and not get moldy? And then when you're doing that, you're constantly producing these and would they break down as fast as what you're doing? I don't know, it's just a large question mark to me. Uh, this is also wrapped up in plastic. I would have just been fine with the box or maybe something to just cover the bristle portion. But all right, if you guys have any tips when it comes to preserving your bamboo or wooden toothbrushes, let me know down below. Now with this lockdown, just like everybody else, I've been picking up random hobbies to be able to pass time. Through painting, through wet liners, even gardening at some point. I have been intrigued by crocheting. Now the idea of being able to crochet a nice throw blanket for myself has just taken over my brain. But that's all it has been. A takeover of my brain, but no action just yet. But either way, I have bought the materials. So I got a set of crochet hooks. This is an amazing set because even though they said 12 pieces, it came in 14. <laughs> and it is a great range of like every size that I would ever need. I then purchased a bunch of yarn that I've yet to start with, but can you imagine? I just love this green and I love the idea of being able to crochet this into a blanket. God knows how many balls of yarn I'm gonna use. Who knows if I'm even gonna be able to make a blanket? But I guess time will tell. All right, guys, so we have come to the end of my Shopee haul. Now, in no ways am I trying to like show off whatever I've gotten. 
I'm just saying I needed some form of redemption for all of my purchases and I'm just sharing the good and bad of everything. Maybe some things could actually help you out. Let me know down below in the comments if you found anything on Shopee that you think has been a great steal because I would love to know. Yeah, I'm not that great when it comes to self-restraint. But anyway, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and I will see you next time. Bye, stay safe.